Well, the liquor and the bowl, they've been saving my soul from the pain that the world's put on me. Woo! I gotta get up for a second with that one. Mmm. He said the liquor in the bowl been saving my soul. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Truth Addiction. This is the channel that deals with the disease of addiction and all the ways it manifests itself. And there's a lot of them. I am a recovering addict. My name is Brian. I suffer from a disease which is incurable, progressive, and sometimes fatal. It can, however, be arrested at some point, and recovery is then possible. So anyway, first things first, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, right? And I got to tell you, for me, every day that I stay clean is a wonderful day. No matter what happens through the course of the day. I always try to stay grateful. You know what I mean? Not saying I stay there 24 seven. I do got my moments during the day, but at the end of the day, I understand that I have been blessed with another daily reprieve of not putting a substance in my body. Feel me? Anyway, this is my man, Oliver Anthony. Um, I reacted, and this isn't a reaction channel, let me just put it that way. I'm trying to incorporate things that have to do with addiction, you know what I'm saying? I reacted to this man's song, not my last video, the video before that, the one that was called Rich Men North of Richmond. That shit went crazy. Now, the only reason I came across it was because I was reading an article on Google News it was talking about how he shot down an $8 million record deal. And I was like, who the fuck does that? And I, that's what made me look. And um, it talked about in there how he either dealt or he's still dealing with addiction and uh, depression type of shit. And that it reflects to his music. That's what made me check out Nor uh, Rich Men North of Richmond. And I got to tell you, if you haven't heard that song, that fucking song is dynamite. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my man is spitting in that song. He does touch on uh, addiction as far as, you know, he talks about, you know, going home and drinking his troubles away and type of shit like that. But he talks a lot of good shit. And if you, if you didn't get a chance, go back and check that out. Because, you know, me and Oliver started spitting facts as long as, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I came across this and I seen the title of this song. It's called I Gotta Get Sober. And I was like, now we're talking. I mean, this is truth addiction after all. You know what I'm saying? And alcohol is a drug. Best believe that. So, without further ado, let's see what this man's talking about. I gotta get sober. Oliver Anthony. Here he goes again. Yo, you hear his voice? I love his voice, bro. It's just raw, real. And then you add to it the lyrics that he's putting out there. And just, you know, look, it's just him in the motherfucking woods with this guitar, bro. There ain't nothing else going on. It's just him, that voice, and that guitar, and those lyrics. And that's the shit that real motherfuckers like, right? Not saying that other music ain't good, you know what I'm saying? But when you're talking real shit, you don't need a bunch of other shit going on. You know what I'm saying? You don't need Ferraris and shit, and Lamborghinis, big booty hoes shaking their ass. Although, you know, we don't mind those things over here. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but you don't need that shit when you're writing that real shit. When you're talking that shit, people, you know, get. And what my man just said, man, his life, and I feel him. It's like we're living this life, and through the whole time, we're writing this song. You know what I mean? The song of our lives. You know what I mean? And I guess, you know, 
is that a song that ever gets released? <laughs> I don't fucking know, you know what I mean? Because I guess you write the song till you stop breathing in this bitch. And you know, unless somebody got your motherfucking life recorded or something, who knows? But that's real shit he's talking right there. Now some people write songs on living just right, but I write mine on just getting by. Yeah. So he put it to where you're writing a song living, and then he, he, he equated it with some people write songs talking about getting it all right, right? So in other words, their lives are in order, right? They're ahead of the game. Everything is in order. You know what I mean? The T's are crossed, the I's are dotted. Things are great. And he's talking about his song of life that he's living is just getting by. And I can already feel that he's about to go into addiction matters somehow. I can feel it. You know what I mean? He's already getting there because, like, I can totally fucking feel that, bro. Because, yo, when you have the disease of addiction, bro, and, and let me just put this out there. This is why I have to work a 12-step program. And as far as I'm concerned, any person with the disease of addiction needs to work as 12-step program because of what it can do for you inside and, and, you know, affect your life, how you live outside with people. You know what I'm saying? But I'm feeling that, man, because like every day with this brain, see, when you got the disease of addiction, you just feel like there's something in your brain that wants to kill you every fucking day. Every day it wants to just make you fucking do something to destroy yourself, right? So every day I do, I feel like I'm just getting by. And not just with, like, financially. Like, I ain't fucking rich, bro, by no means. Like, I, I, I basically live paycheck to paycheck. You know what I mean? But I'm talking, like, mentally and physically and spiritually, man. It's like I got to do everything I can with this diseased-ass brain. Not to survive the world, but to survive myself, bro. And that's a bitch. But anyway, let's go, Oliver. I'll go on the whim, start writing the hymn that sounds so sweet. But the troubles and the sin of the world that we're in knock me back off my feet. Mm -hmm. I gotta get sober, I gotta start living right. All right, so there's the title of the song. Everything he just said led up to that. Like, I got to get sober, bro. You know what I mean? And, 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 you know, listen, there's people in this world, bro, that don't necessarily have the disease of addiction. But things happen in their life to where they end up turning to the bottle or a drug, you know, or a pill, whatever it is, because life is getting to them. You know what I mean? A lot of depression issues and things like that, they go hand in hand with addiction. You know what I'm saying? So the way he sounds right now, he's talking about it as like life is affecting him mentally and he's turning to alcohol to medicate himself. You understand what I'm saying? Let's see where he goes. I don't know how it's gonna go, but it ain't gonna happen tonight. So pour them down strong. Okay. Till I drown. Yo, he said, I gotta get sober, but um, it ain't gonna happen tonight. Right? Pour them down strong, man. You know, like, bro, I can't tell you how many times. Yo, so I've been clean a little over six years, right? But the last couple of years of my run, every day I dreamed about getting clean, being sober, however you want to put it. And I would wake up and be like, okay, I'm not going to do it today. I'm not going to go do what I got to do to get money. I'm not going to use today. And then, like, it's like something hit in my brain, like, choo -choo, nope. Today's not the day. I got to get clean, but today's not the day. So 
Like he just said, pour them down strong, man. That's a fucked up vicious cycle that addicts, active addicts go through that have the disease of addiction. It's fucked up, bro. It's like you just keep cycling through this. I got to stop doing what I'm doing. I got to stop doing what I'm doing. I'm destroying myself and everybody around me. I got to stop what I'm doing. And then like at some point during the day, you're like, I got to, it switches to, I got to get one. I got to get one no matter what, no matter what. You know what I mean? And it all runs through your head. Yeah, but your mom will be just so disappointed. Your wife, your husband, look what you're doing to him. It's going to be crazy again. And then like it, your brain just overrides all that. Like, I don't give a fuck. Get one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to get clean and sober, whatever. But it ain't going to happen today. I'll do it tomorrow. That's the famous last words of any active addict. I'll get clean or I'll get sober tomorrow. And tomorrow never comes for a lot of us, bro. And if I wake up tomorrow, when that sun comes back around, I'll be wishing I was sober. Mm. Yup. Like the little crickets or whatever the fuck's in the background and shit. Well, the liquor and the bowl, they've been saving my soul from the pain that the world's put on me. Woo! I gotta get up for a second with that one. Mmm. He said the liquor in the bowl been saving my soul from the pain of the world. This man said the liquor in the bowl been saving my soul. <laughs> Yo. Yo. I don't know if that was like a double entendre. I get the liquor part. The liquor in the bowl. Is he talking about like the toilet bowl? Because, you know, is he... You know, you know when you drink a lot, you start throwing the fuck up. Or is he talking about a bowl like, you know, a fucking bowl you would put weed in or some shit? I don't know, but Oliver, I'm going to give you credit for a double entendre right there. I don't give a fuck. I don't even care if you'd even mean it. If you meant it in one way, I'm going to give you both meanings. Because your shit is dope, bro. His shit is dope. The lick... The liquor and the bulb and saving my soul from this fucking world. Yo. See, you know what's crazy about that? When you're in active addiction, you believe that shit. You believe like, yo, how could I even get by without this liquor or this fucking heroin or this cocaine or whatever it is? You know what I mean? How could I get by? There's no way I can live in this life without these things. I need it. It's actually helping me. You know, this is very beneficial to... Like, you believe the craziest shit in your motherfucking head, bro. But all the while, it's fucking killing you. And it, like, it's not only killing you physically. Like, it's killing you mentally and emotionally. And it's killing everybody around you. You know what I mean? Until there's nobody left. Even you. Until you're gone. Like, you're either gone, like, pew, shot the fuck out, or you're not breathing no more. This man is spitting the liquor in the bowl and saving my soul. Lord, I know that upstairs there's an old man who cares, and one day he'll set me free. Mm. I'll go on the whim, start Real quick, man. Yo, there was a point in my active addiction where every day I wished for death. I just didn't want to do it no more. Like, I was convinced that I would never stop doing what I'm doing. And I just wanted to die, bro. You know what I mean? And that's what he just said. I'm convinced that one day he'll set me free. He's talking about, you know, he said the man upstairs. He's talking about, but basically what he's saying, like, you know, dying... I'm feeling him on this, man. Like, I got chills right now, man. You know, it's times like this when I feel very fucking grateful for my 12-step recovery program, man, that fucking helped me learn how to live without a fucking drug, bro. Right? And if you're struggling out there right quick, let me just throw this out there. 
Your head may be telling you that you can't do it, or you ain't worth it, or you tried it a couple times already to get clean. It was the fucking point. But here's the point, bro. Your brain lies, bro. You can do it. I just want to let you know. But anyway, just to get back to that, man. I wished for death on a daily basis. I couldn't bring myself to actually kill myself, like stick a fucking knife in my neck or a gun in my head. But like I like prayed, wished for fucking death, man. And so I could be free. My man is fucking on point, man. I didn't hear the sound so sweet. But the troubles and the sin of the world that we're in knock me back off my feet. Bro, if you don't feel that. I gotta get sober. I gotta start living right. And I don't know how it's gonna go. But it ain't gonna happen tonight. Mm. So pour them down strong. Yo, and that's another part, man, where you're in this active addiction, bro, and, like, you really do. You want to just stop. You want to stop. And it's like you come to this crazy acceptance, and it is a crazy acceptance. It is insanity. The disease of addiction is a whole lot of insanity. But you just come to accept this thing like, yeah, I want to get clean, but it ain't going to happen. They're just pipe dreams. I'm just dreaming. I used to... I remember going on the elevated train, which we call the L that runs in Philly, like Center City and down that way, North Philly. When I would go to cop, I would go get, go get some heroin. And I'd be on that train all tore up, usually withdrawn on my way. I need to get a couple bags. I finally got some money together to get a couple bags. You know what I mean? I'm on my way down. And I would look at people either going to work or coming home from work. Nice little suit on or something. I was so envious of those people. And not because if they had a nice suit or not. It was like, I used to look at them and be like, how the fuck can these people get up and operate in this world without heroin? That's crazy. That's how I used to look. Like, just envious that motherfuckers could walk around on this planet and not have to fucking use drugs. Like, I wanted that so bad, dude. Till I drown. Till I drown, man. I'm gonna and if all I these troubles wake away. up tomorrow, when that sun comes back around, I'll be wishing I was sober. Mm. It's fucking beautiful, man. That's some deep shit, man. This boy be writing some deep shit, man. Let me just run it. He's done. Bro, I am fucking feeling that, bro. I'm feeling that, man. That shit got me a little emotional. I mean, the days I sat there, man, just really f thinking that, like, I'm going to fucking die like this. I'm going to die with this meaningless, hopeless, broken ass life dude and you know what man life ain't perfect today man right i still have my struggles i still fall short i still have character defects i act out on man like the only thing i do perfectly bro is i don't use for over six years i haven't put a drug or a drink or any mind or mood mood altering substance in my fucking body. And for an addict with the disease of addiction, that is fucking miraculous. It's nothing short of miraculous. And for me, I owe that all to a 12-step recovery process. I don't need to get into which, which anonymous program I'm in. You know what I mean? It is what it is. That's not important. 
The important thing is that the principles contained in those 12 steps and, 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 you know, the people that you meet that are dealing with the same infliction you are, bro, how they heal, how you can heal yourself, man, or how they can help you heal while you're helping them heal. It's weird how it works. But um, every day is a fucking blessing. And I don't like throwing that word around too much, blessing and shit or miraculous. I'm not really religious, you know what I mean? Some of my friends are, man. We all get along, man. You know what I mean? But I will say this, man. Life is really fucking short as it is, man. It really is, dude. That's why, like, every day, we really should show the people around us in some way that, like, we love them. And it's not so much for them. It is for them. But it's for us because you never know what could happen, right? They could die. You could die. It's like, hey, man, how they say it? Give people their flowers while they're still here, man. And that's what you should do. And that doesn't mean like real flowers, although you could do that. It means like tell people like, yo, I just want you to know, man. Like, I appreciate you. I'm glad you're in my life. Out of the 8 billion people in the world, I came in contact with you. And you know what? I'm glad I did. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Oliver got me all of my motherfucking feelings. I'll just say this, man. Yo, check yourself into a fucking rehab if you're struggling. Do something. Put the drug down for a second, man. Get cleaned up a little bit and enter into a 12-step recovery program. That's what we talk about on this channel. That's what I live by. I believe in it. A hundred percent. And just know that you can do it. You can recover. Right? So I'll end it with this. Like I always end it. Just remember this. The disease of addiction, it's broad. And it's outside of the realm of just using drugs. Keep coming back. More will be revealed. I'm out of here, man.